We're back here again with yet another review and today we're gonna be taking a look at a couple new black series figures and some new ish black series figures we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new archive waves palpatine and dengar and then the mandalorian or i'm sorry star wars the book of boba fett fennec shand now i've had dengar and fennec shand for a little bit now uh, you can actually kind of see the dust on Dengar's box from him sitting in my room for like a month now because I was waiting to do this review when I got Palpatine. I found Palpatine on Prime Day for 20 bucks, 19.99. I said, fuck, yeah. So, I mean, I couldn't find Palpatine anywhere. I wish I just found it in stores. I would have paid a couple bucks extra to get it and get this review out earlier. But unfortunately, that's just not how the cards rolled. So then I got Fennec Shanna in the process as well. I think I paid full price for her on Amazon as well. But you know what? I'm totally okay with that. These are three figures that I was very much looking forward to. So taking a look at Fennec Shan's box. This is my first and probably only book of Boba Fett figure I'll be getting. Um, is Cobb Vanth? No, he's from Mandalorian, I guess, that box. So there is the barcode, or I'm sorry, the read-up and the barcode. Um, she is so hard to find, guys. Good luck. I don't know if Amazon still has her up. And then the archive waves are pretty much every standard archive wave. 2019 and 2018. Like, it's not like these were so long ago. And it's crazy how expensive they are. I would love the throne for these guys. Or, like, for, uh, Palpatine. But, unfortunately, like, I would love this figure. That is a Corel figure. But, you know, this'll, this'll do for now. I mean, and I never had Dengar neither. I wasn't going to break a leg to get Dengar, but you know what? I saw him. I picked him up. Whatever. But without further ado, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and finally open these guys up. So taking these guys out of the package, a lot of them are what I expected. Um, you know, they're pretty standard Black Series figures in all honesty. I really enjoy all three of them, to be honest. I mean, they're pretty equal on the scales of which one I like the best, but you guys know how I run it when I do multiple figures in one review. I go through and do my least favorite to last favorite in order. So I'm going to do that same here, but just to let you guys all know, it's very close. These are all a very good set of figures. So at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and start with Dengar. Not that there's anything wrong with him. I think for a Dengar figure, this is what it's supposed to be. Now, I don't have the original one to compare to, so I'm going to treat this like a new review, because it's new for me. And taking a look at the head sculpt there, that is awesome. I really, really like that. The body looks good as well. It's painted very nicely. Um, the All the detail on his bag thing look great. I know Dengar more, or like I like Dengar more when he was in Clone Wars with like young Boba and things like that. Because you actually got to see him do shit. So I like that a little bit more personally than you know, anything else he was in, but I do like the scuffs of the metal there, the gunmetal gray looks really good on all, like, the other parts of them, um, the legs look really good too, bro's got the loafers on, what the fuck, bro, like, straight up my pops be wearing these, dude, come on now, Dengar, I expect more from you, but the paint apps are just really detailed on this guy, and I really like it with, like, all the paint scuffs, uh, on the metal, so to speak, and all like the straps and stuff are painted all the way around, and I just can't get over how detailed that bag is. I really like that. As far as accessories are concerned, my dude's gonna get his backpack, which does come off. I'm just gonna leave it on because it's staying on pretty good. You do get this little blaster. I'm pretty sure that's just standard, and it goes in here. It's kind of a little loose, but it won't just fall out. And then you get his big rifle, which looks really cool. I do, this is, this is what put him on the bottom for me. He doesn't hold this very well, at least in my figure. Like, his finger, oh, now he doesn't. Well, like, not really, his finger's, like, not long enough. So, like, the second you move it, like, the finger falls out of the trigger. You can get it, the job done. Like, for me, I'm just gonna have him kind of, like, you know, not really, like, firing, kind of just holding his gun stationary like that. So, it works for me, but it doesn't really hold it very well. And there's, like, this is, like, literally just a molded piece of gray plastic. Not super detailed at all. As far as articulation is concerned, Dengar's head is going to look up that far down. Rotate side to side and pivot. Whoa, pivot side to side and rotate. Sorry. 
Oh, shoulder goes up that much, down, rotate 360, no bicep swivel, but you do get a swivel at the elbow that goes in that far and that far down. Rotate and horizontal or vertical hinge on this side and then horizontal hinge on the other side. You do get a swivel at the waist or the diaphragm more. Doesn't really do much forward and back or side to side. It's mostly just a rotation, but that's fine. It's Dengar, I don't really care. He can do pretty good splits. He'll kick forward pretty far, back decently far as well. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, so it looks pretty good. And then the ankles go down, up, and pivot at the loafer. So, not bad. I mean, it's not like the most articulated thing ever, but Dengar's not the most articulated thing ever. So, I'm okay with that. Next up is going to be Palpatine. I really do like this figure. Um... I mean, obviously, he's just it's just upsetting knowing that there's such a better figure out there of him that I just simply cannot afford and refuse to pay. But that's just me being a sorry sucker. Um, as far as this figure is concerned, I like what they did with it. Um, the soft goods are really nice on him, and they really get the job done. He's got pretty good articulation, all things considered, so I really don't have any complaints with him. But as far as the head sculpt is concerned, I really like that. Looks really, really good. All, like, the veins and stuff in there. Like, I like that a lot. Very, very cool looking. I enjoy that. The hair looks good as well. And the hood actually lays pretty good on his head. So that's that's always a good thing for these kinds of figures. The cloak, you know, it's all over. You get a, the, like, older thin arms. Very thin arms with, you know, trigger finger hand. Which, you know, whatever really doesn't do much in his case but and then you know this sculpted torso underneath with the sculpted ribbon but then soft good skirt and then you know pretty i'm sure standard black series legs that we see all the time but you know they're covered so it really doesn't matter the hands are painted good as well i also like that they have horizontal hinges because i'm going to probably have him like you know something like that just because he doesn't have lightning hands like i said i would love that figure but I would not pay more than retail for it. So, he also does come with his cane, which really has no detail at all, other than, like, the sculpt, no paint. Honestly, it doesn't bother me as much as Dengar's gun not having any paint. But he can hold it okay. It's a little loose in his hand, and then getting it on the ground really doesn't... It's not really doable, I don't know. I'd have played around with it a little bit more, but so far it's not been super good. And the, it's a little flaky, but, um... Or, like, the, the cloak is a little flaky. As far as articulation is concerned, the head is on a disc hinge, so it'll go up and down, rotate side to side, and pivot. Shoulders will go upwards that far down. They will rotate all the way around, just, you know, you can't keep going around and around with the soft goods. Double-jointed elbow, which the soft goods obviously don't impede, and then swivel and vertical hinge on both sides of the hand. Now, where it really surprised me and put him a little bit above Dengar was the torso articulation. It's just on a ball peg. But it works really good. You get good pivot, swivel, crunch, and arc. Very good. Um, down below, that's as far as they'll go if the skirt's all the way down. But, I mean, obviously, if you move it out, it'll go that far. I don't know what you'd want to do that for, but you never know. Uh, double, or he'll kick forward, back, upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees on this guy, so that's how you know this is an older figure. Um, no boot rotation, and then the ankles go up and down and pivot as well. So... You know, he doesn't really need to do much. Like, see what I'm talking about? The flakiness does, like, all over my review station. He doesn't really need to do much, but I, I'm okay that he doesn't do much because I just wish that he had thrown. It's like a, like a double-edged sword, I guess. But, yeah, he's pretty good for what he's supposed to be. Now, by far my favorite figure in this assortment is Fennec Shand. Look at that head sculpt, guys. That is beautiful. Damn. You know, she's, like, 50, like, She's gorgeous. I love it. The hair paint looks awesome. It goes all the way down in the braid. The little band at the bottom. Little buttons are painted in. Orange everywhere. It just looks super, super good. The little scar under her eye. That is awesome. This is a really, really good head sculpt. One of the best head sculpts I've seen in Black Series in a long time. Like I said, the orange is punched in. And there's a lot of good texture all around on like the little waistband thing. Um, different, like finishes of black so you got some matte some satin some glossy i like that because there's not a lot of color on her there's really other than the head two colors but when you finish it differently it makes it look like multiple colors so i like that i really like all the texture on her 
skirt and her back. Her chest has some really good like sculpting detail on it. And then the boots, I love the orange paint around the boots and the arms. They're painted super clean and crisp. I really like that the triangles on here look good. It's just overall a very aesthetically pleasing figure. Um, and as far as accessories go, we get her helmet, which looks really dope as well. And it matches good with the aesthetic of the body. It looks a little big, but of course, you know, that's how these things kind of go. It's got a nice wash on it that you can see on the top. I like that little detail painted in the back. And then you can kind of open it a little bit more if like her eyes, you can't really see them through there. Like you can definitely get, finagle it a little bit, heat it up and it would change a little bit and it doesn't impede articulation at all. I'm probably gonna have her holding the helmet cause I just like that head sculpt way too much not to have that out on the shelf. Like that just looks so good. Oh my God, like the little strand of hair. Just, man, that's a really good head sculpt. And then you get this gun. Which, on one hand, I like that they put a little bit of paint on there to match her body. But then I hate when they're, like, hard plastic um, bands because you really can't do anything other than this. Which, on one hand, is awesome. Because that's probably how I'm going to be posing her. But, you know, taking pictures and shit, I kind of want it to be, you know, have some variation. Like, this is probably how I'm going to be posing her on the shelf is something like this. You know, just looking all badass and shit but you know when you're trying to get her to actually hold the gun the strap really impedes the visualness visualness the visual appeal i guess is better to put it or a better way to put it you know maybe that's just me but for me i don't really like the big strap on there some most of the time i even cut them off just because i don't need it on there but for her i'm probably gonna leave it just because like i said i'm probably gonna have her strapped up but i mean the gun itself i don't know if this is new probably is because of the band around it, but it looks pretty good. No paint other than these two little triangles on there. As far as her articulation is concerned, I'm going to go over hers most thoroughly because it's a well, new sculpted figure. Head goes up, down, pivot side to side, and rotate all around. It's on a dumbbell joint, which I likey. The shoulders move outwards that far, down, rotate 360, single jointed elbow with a swivel that goes in more than 90, so I'm okay with that. And then the wrist swivel and vertically hinge. The body goes all around, the crunches forward and back, pivot side to side, and rotates. Mine's a little clicky, so I get a little nervous about that, but honestly, very good range. The hips, despite the skirt, will go out. That's as far as I go, and the skirt doesn't get in the way of that. It's just how far they go, which is pretty good. She'll kick forward, back, upper thigh cut, single jointed knee that does rotate as well, and then the ankle will go down, whoa, whoa, up, and pivot. So, Pretty good articulation on her. She needs to be like a good in-between of not like Spider-Man levels, but not Palpatine levels. So uh, yeah, I think it's definitely really good for her character. As far as scale is concerned, let's go ahead and get them in with the Zack Toy Squad. Here they are with Zombie Cap and Darwin, which, you know, Black Series is always a little bit smaller than Marvel Legends. For other lines, here they are next to Jazzwares, Fortnite's pot Potato, Tomato Head, and DC Multiverse, Dark Knight, Batman by McFarlane Toys. And then, of course, to finish it off, here they are with Silly Kong. So they're a lot smaller than Silly Kong, but Silly Kong's a big guy. So I'm okay with that. I think they all scale good with each other. I like that Fennec Shand is a little bit smaller than everybody else. And, you know, overall, I just think they look good together. So as posing them, I realized that this pops out. So take back all my complaints about the strap. This is very good. Uh, that's pretty awesome that that pops out. I thought I broke it, but then I realized that it just snaps on and off. So I take that complaint back. I actually really like that. So at this point, I know you're wondering, yo, Ant, what are you thinking of these figs? And I got to say, they are another solid set of Black Series figures. Honestly, I feel like every time I catch up with Black Series, more start to hit. Like, Figure and Dan and that droid from Mandalorian are two that I want. I want, like, five Figure Dans to do the whole um, Nodes band. I really, really want to do that. Um, so, I already have the $30 one on pre-order because you only need one of them. And then you're supposed to get four Figure and Dans. Um, you're going to have a shit ton of instruments left over. But you know what? I don't really care. I think it's awesome. I'll give them the random people. But, anyway, another good set of Black Series figures. I don't do too many Black Series figures reviews because I'm very selective on which ones I pick. Like just for instance, I hated Obi-Wan Kenobi. I thought the show was written terribly and it just, I really did not enjoy that show. So I will be skipping on all of those figures, Obi-Wan, Reva, 
the the fifth brother, the sister, all of them. Darth Vader. Obviously, I don't need another Darth Vader, but even the new characters, I'm skipping on that. I'm going to wait for the archive series of the old man Ben Kenobi because that's my favorite version of Ben. So, yeah, not a fan of that show at all, so I'll be skipping on them, but... I would like the figure and Dan and that droid whose name I don't know. Um, the only one that I might get from Obi-Wan is that big yellow droid just because he looks cool and having droids on the shelf is always a cool thing. But when I do do Star Wars videos, y'all don't seem to enjoy them too much. They don't typically get a lot of views, but I like making them because Star Wars is one of my favorite things and I want to talk about it more. Um, if you guys would like me to talk about it more, let me know. I would like to do more movie and show reviews. I watch a lot of shows recently, or I've been watching a lot of shows recently, and I would like to see maybe post like a show review or a movie review a week and see if you guys like that. Let me know. But as far as these figures are concerned, I like him a lot for what he's supposed to be. It's just really disappointing that I didn't get that Amazon one. And then I think it went up on Entertainment Earth for like a minute, and I missed it. Really upset about that. Wish I would have got it, but you know what? I'm not going to be a saw you bitch. I really like this figure, no matter what. The head sculpt is really good, and the cane could be better, but I like him a lot. Dengar, never thought I'd have one. My beef with him is that I don't have any other bounty hunters other than Boba Fett right now. I can get Zuckus and Forlom on Amazon right now, along with IG-11, or the one from The Mandalorian, and I'm just going to take the bandolier off and use that as my IG-88. That's totally fine. I can get all of them for pretty much retail. But Bosk, now Bosk is the problem. And they already did an archive series of Bosk, and even that's really expensive. So I don't know if I'll ever have a Bosk. If anybody has a Bosk for retail or close to it, let me know. I'd be happy to buy it off of you. Um, I used to work at FYE, and I had a Bosk in my hand, and I never bought him. I never did, and now he's in California. So long story there, but I just really am kicking myself in the butt for not getting Bosk, because uh, I would like all the original bounty hunters together but unfortunately that is a dream i might never be able to succeed in and then finally fennec shand is fucking awesome i really didn't like boba fett neither um the last episode was awesome was it completely ridiculous of him riding a rancor yeah but it was awesome um also makes me more bummed out that we never got the Haslab rancor because whatever that thing's a whole disaster i did a whole video on that but yeah overall Fennec Shan is definitely my favorite. I really, really like her. That head sculpt is beautiful. But other than that, enough of me rambling. I believe that's all I got for today. So if you have not already, please do yourself a favor and me and like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Post a lot over there. Have a lot of fun, and I'm sure you all will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? We'll be picking up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.